yeah, this is the insanity that we're in right now. And I guess one of the most amazing things to come out of this every day, it gets crazier and crazier. Doesn't it? Then I saw this article from the Wall Street Journal, Eskimo Pie to drop derogatory name. Now who knew that this was a derogatory name? Eskimo. I did not know that, but it is the latest example of what I guess we could call now the snowflake cancelled culture, because in snowflake land, you cannot use the term Eskimo. We've had Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben's fired for the color of their skin. And now says Elizabeth Bell, the head of marketing. For the people who make Eskimo pies. Now we're committed to being a part of the solution on racial equality and we recognize the term Eskimo as derogatory. And so by way of explanation, I looked at further down in the article. You see that Eskimo is a disparaging term for indigenous people of the Arctic regions who knew, who knew. So I guess what are they going to call it? Well, they call it. Indigenous people of the Arctic regions pie. I think I like Eskimo pie better. Oh, it may be just snowflake pie or maybe you could call it chapter 13 pie. Maybe we ought to just stop buying these products from these woke corporations, or maybe they could call it Cracker Jack pie. Right. That was the other Babylon. The article from last week, a char Cracker Jack had to change their name. Because, you know, as a derogatory reference to white people, oh, we don't care about that. And then this in Scotland, Scottish man is convicted of calling his ex-girlfriend's boyfriend, a leprechaun, a leprechaun. The guy was Irish. He called him a leprechaun and the UK said that, convicted him of racially aggravated offence. Did you know that leprechauns are a race? I didn't even know they were real. I guess we're going to have to get rid of I'm Lucky Charms, mascot as well. They're gonna have to find something else. Maybe they could call it Fighting White Eats Cereal or something. Cause we're not offended by that. Let's say four. There you go. Yeah, the bad leprechaun, as Jonathan Turley puts it, this is really another example. Of the metastasize metastasizing, a hate speech laws, as he said, once you create hate speech laws, because you know, you hate speech. You hate free speech. Once you do that, you create an insatiable appetite for greater and greater speech regulation, and you create a sense of empowerment. Among citizens to silence those with whom they disagree. That's the mob mentality in an essence, right there.